Hey guys, Adam with Fraser. It's a big day. I'm excited to show you this unit. Victoria Fire Department has purchased the demo. It's loaded, it's got a ton of features. First, I'm super excited to show you guys this new power system. This latest innovation uh, is a Harrison H power. So it's a high performance alternator under the hood, powering the entire ambulance body through a inverter lithium ion battery pack system. The other really cool feature that this has is idle mitigation. So we've added on uh, an ACE tech complement, it's called their Eco Run. So Eco Run is, is monitoring both temperature in the module and in the cab, and it's monitoring battery voltage here and of the, the chassis batteries. And under certain conditions, it will let the truck stay off as it is right now. So those battery packs are actually powering everything on the body, including the air conditioner. And then when the certain conditions are met, it will auto restart the truck to ensure that these batteries don't get too low. Um, so really, really cool system. Latest innovation from Fraser and, and Harrison. Uh, I'm excited to get this unit in service, put it in the on the road and see how it performs. It's a type one 14 foot Fraser body, door forward design, and we retain the squad bench on the inside, which you'll see when we get there. It's on a Ram 4500 diesel chassis. It has liquid spring front and rear axle suspension. The vehicle is actually in the lowered position right now, so it's, it's totally lowered front and rear axle. Um, on, on the front of the vehicle, unique, fe unique feature. Um, I wanted to uh, do something a little bit different on the bumper, so we added black reflective. Uh, in a chevron pattern over the chrome bumper. So this thing looks really cool and stands out at night. Uh, of course, it's got the dual Buell air horn system, crazy loud, uh, like a train. Uh, it has the safety vision, 360 deg degree camera system. So there's actually one camera here on the front grill. Uh, there's one on each side, a backup camera, and there's also an in-module camera. Uh, so. Safety Vision knocked it out of the park with this. Great system. On the door forward design, when you retain the squad bench, it opens up this entire compartment. So we decided to put the Zyco electric bottle lift in here. Um, when you don't retain the squad bench on the door forward design, your main bottle and your backboards go in here. So it takes up too much room to put in uh, the Zyco lift. So we wanted to, to highlight that here. 30 amp Kuzmal auto eject. Fraser standard electrical compartment, um, intermediate storage compartment with stair chair storage, adjustable shelf, gas strut hold open. Uh, we did the blackout package on this, so you'll notice all the, the diamond plate has been blacked out. The bezels around the lights instead of chrome are black, and the, uh, the rear three-piece bumper it has been covered with black um, bed liner. So we've got black all the way around, the running boards, the grill guard, it's, it's, it's all black. Looks really clean, really sharp. Rear storage compartment, it's an outside, door, outside only storage space with adjustable shelf. On the rear of the vehicle, Whelan uh, emergency lighting. It's a combination of Whelan M9 and Whelan M6 emergency lights. Uh, there's the backup camera I mentioned for safety vision. Fraser standard backboard compartment. So you can easily fit two to three boards depending on which boards you're using and a scoop stretcher back here. LED lighting. Power storage compartment. So Harrison, Harrison H Power. Their battery pack and inverter system here on a slide out assembly. Your front inside outside uh, compartment. So this is inside outside access here and then this is outside only storage space. And of course door forward with the body drop and the double step up to the floor. Makes it easy to get you know, ambulatory patients in and out of here if you want to walk them in versus loading them in through the back. Uh, of course we did electric locks on all of the compartment doors. Um, We've got the yellow grab rails on the entry doors and on the inside. You'll see when we get to the inside. Uh, something I haven't really talked a lot about in videos, but a standard feature for Fraser is our emergency release. So these 
uh, release tabs are connected directly to the rotary at the top and bottom of your three entry doors, your one on the side and your two main on the rear. So if anything in the latch mechanism ever was to fail, you can simply, when you're inside, hit this with your foot, this with your hand, it'll override the latch mechanism and allow the door to open in case of emergency. So now we're coming in through the side main door, and as with all door forward designs, when you walk in to the left, you have a countertop space, which is the top of your inside outside cabinet. There's an upper storage cabinet here, and then there's a cabinet stack on the front wall. We have a couple different variations of this cabinet stack that you can do. This space up top on this unit was designed to hold a uh, med vault. It's been pre-wired, 12 volt power. So this inside outside cabinet, when we do the squat, when we retain the squad bench, instead of the, the smaller bench with the chair, so it's a full bench like it is in here, this cabinet is extended the full length to extend all the way to the edge of the squad bench. So you end up with these really large, this really large storage space, these sliding doors made by Austin Hardware. These are crash test compliant. Um, and then we also decided to uh, show, to, show and utilize some of the value of Technomount. So we put their universal base both here on this workstation and on the standard uh, action wall workstation. Um, and then if you have the mounted arm on the stretcher, basically what you're doing is you're giving each crew the ability to mount their defibrillator wh wherever works best from them. This workstation here or on the stretcher. Uh, so we wanted to show that value or utilize that here in this demo. So with the Ace Tech electrical system, you'll notice that there's different uh, button panels or switch panels than um, the traditional rocker switches that we're known for. So we have a six position switch panel here. There's lock and unlock, interior lights, uh, turn on and off your ventilation fan, your scene lighting, your load lighting, and we mounted the air conditioner controls here. If you swing over to the action wall, You'll notice there is an identical, uh, we've replicated that exact same switch panel over here so you can control that from either place. Also here at the action wall is your vehicle mounted suction. We've got a uh, USB power and the customer's uh, radio uh, assembly. And we also have access to the main uh, regulator for the main bottle. Okay, so at the squad bench and at the CPR seat, we use these Valor um, seat backs with integrated four point harness, one touch buckle system, super easy to use. The four point retractors mean you can lean forward. You can also move out at the hip and you can move back and you notice I haven't had to touch the harness assembly at all. It provides a lot of mobility. You can actually stand up in here wearing these. And when you sit back down, it retracts with you. So you can reach a lot of equipment. You can touch your, your uh, you know, mini work centers from here. So another really cool feature that Ace Tech offers that I think a lot of departments are, are gonna be interested in is RFID asset tracking. We installed that on this vehicle. So we installed two RFID antennas or readers in the ceiling. The end user uh, department would identify which equipment they wanna put an RFID tag on, like a defibrillator, computer, um, uh, you know, go, a uh, go bag or an airway trauma bag. So some that could be left on scene. Um, you put the tag on that piece of equipment. And if the, that equipment isn't on the vehicle, when you go to drive away, there's actually an audio and a visual indicator up in the driver's cab that notifies the driver, Hey, this piece of equipment isn't being read or isn't on the vehicle. So you stop, you find that asset, put it on the vehicle and you go on your way. Um, again, this is new for us, uh, and I think a lot of departments are gonna, gonna be interested in it, so call us with questions on that. So now that we're in the driver's cab, um, there's a lot going on in here. So to start with the liquid spring I mentioned, front and rear axle liquid spring, the control panel that's mounted on the dash over here looks like any other liquid spring control panel. Uh, once the rear of the vehicle lowers, you hit the down button one more time, and that lowers the front axle suspension. Here is the uh, camera display for the Safety Vision 360 camera system. Um, down on the floor over here, Colin, this is, this is the uh, screen for the Harrison system. So this gives the operator a little bit of data about um, you know, how many hours the vehicle's been on. And also this shows the battery percentage indicator when it gets down to 70% uh, battery left, uh, it flashes yellow. When it gets down to 20%, it flashes red, and then the system will shut off after that. So there's a good visual indicator there. 
This little screen here looks almost like an I, I, uh, iPhone or an iPad, uh, you know, iTouch screen. It's RFID. This is your RFID visual indicator. Um, so these indicators will flash if uh, that specific piece of equipment is not in the vehicle when you go to leave the scene. And there's also an audible warning that tells you inside the cab what's going on or what's been left behind as well. With the Ace Tech electrical system, our switch panels change up a little bit. So instead of the rocker switches that you're typically seeing on the console, there's these just touch button uh, screen, uh, switches, super easy to use. Light comes on at, at, uh, telling you that that circuit is activated. Um, and then we've added, you know, the MDT center there for the, uh, the customer. We installed their radios or portable radio charger uh, on our, our custom powder coated aluminum console. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Victoria Fire Department for being longtime Fraser customers and for trusting us to uh, build this, this really special vehicle for you guys. Uh, special shout out to Chief Fox and Chief Belt. Thank you for working with us on this. Uh, and I'm really excited to deliver it to you. There's so many features on this truck. I'm really happy that you guys decided to, to take delivery of this. And I, I'm really excited to hear feedback on it moving forward. If you like what you saw in this video, and you want to learn more about it, you can always email us at sales at fraserbuilt.com. You can call anyone on the sales team at 888-372-9371. Of course, our social media is amazing. So like and follow us on all of our social media platforms where we're constantly pushing out new great content like this. Thank you for following and I look forward to talking to you in the future.